morning grade 3 so we are going to start vlog 3 today which is about stems and roots in this vlog you are going to learn in detail how stems and roots help a plant okay so uh, you know that a plant has uh, different parts there are leaves there are flowers there are stems there are roots and they have fruits and each and every part of a plant helps the plant to live in its surroundings okay now so in this topic we are going to learn something more about stems okay so uh, we have an activity today uh, I have a white flower with me I think uh, this is a very common flower this is called a peace lily most of you may have you may have it in your garden okay so what will happen if I take this flower and dip it in red water okay or any red liquid for a day what do you think will happen to this flower this flower is actually white in color okay now I have forwarded to uh, a page of your worksheet now you will find that in S1 of block 3 there is a table in question number 1 okay so in question number 1 <coughs> you are supposed to there are two columns the first column in the first column the question is what will happen to a white flower if it is kept in a red liquid now the first column tells you to write prediction now what do you mean by prediction prediction is nothing but making a guess what do you think will happen okay you may come up with different answers it doesn't matter prediction means what do you think may happen okay for example I can predict by looking at today's weather that it may rain yes it may rain or in it may not rain it does not mean that predictions are always going to be correct so you just need to imagine that if you keep a white flower in red water what will happen to the flower any changes do you think there will be any changes so you can write that okay and if you feel like there will not be any changes you can just write that but in the second column I will send for the second column I will send you another picture which actually shows what happened to a white flower when I kept it in a red liquid for a day okay now looking at that picture you are going to write your observations observations means observe what do you see you're going to write exactly that okay observation means what you can see so look at the picture zoom it zoom in and then write what are the changes that you see in the picture i will send in another video regarding the topic. 